Hey guys, Super Mario Kid 64 here. Welcome back to more Mario Party 5. Today we are doing the fourth uh, board of the project, which is Sweet Dream. So let's get started. Um, welcome to the Sweet Dream. This is a world inspired by the dreams of candy. Everything in this world is made of cake and candy. Enjoy that sweet menu. Alright, so let's decide to turn where, um, so I'm Yoshi today, and I'm being accompanied by Mario, Waluigi, and Koopa Kid. Um, Sweet Dream is not one of my favorite boards in the game. This is probably one of the most boring boards, in my opinion. So, yeah, I kind of just want to get through this. Um, and then we have three boards left after this. We have Rainbow, Undersea, and Bowser Nightmare. And then, so, um, I'm now on February break. Today is the first day of, wait, no. No, today is the second day of February break, and, uh, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Today is also Valentine's Day. I'm single, I'm not dating anyone, so it's just, like, any other day to me. Um, I just had my best friend over, and we watched Pitch Perfect 2 and just hung out, had snacks. It was fun. Um, so, yeah. I'm on break. I don't have to go back to school for eight days, so we go back next Monday. Which is awesome. So yeah, I'm just gonna hang out with friends, play video games, and not study. So that's basically my February break plans. Um, my goal for the February break is also to finish all the party boards in this playthrough and start my um, mystery project and get that started. Because like I said, I, I wanted to start that um, once I got a little further into this project. So yeah, and I'm looking forward to that. Right now, I'm currently in the middle of Shantae Risky's Revenge. I am liking it. It's pretty fun. It's a really short game. I'm going to finish it tomorrow. And then I'm doing Mega Man Extreme, uh, then Undertale, and then Zelda Triforce Heroes, which I've had since Christmas, and I still haven't started it. Well, I actually started it, but I didn't really do anything in it. Oh my god, this is my favorite minigame in the whole game. Yes. And yeah, so that's just my video game plans. Uh, fish upon a star. Avoid the falling objects, the crumbling ground, and the other players. The left player standing wins. If you feel the ground starting to shake, it's about to fall underneath you. Get to a solid piece of land quick. So yeah, this is just like your basic survival mini and like try and kill everyone. Doing this project's been pretty fun so far. Um, the next Mario Party project I'm going to do is going to be either one or six. I haven't decided yet which one I'm going to do first, but, uh, and then I'm going to do my mystery project, and then I'll just do, um, Mario Party 1 or 6 yet, and then I'll pick another project after my mystery project that I haven't started yet. Oh, crap, I died. I have to admit, I usually always win that mini game too, so that was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> so, nothing really new with me. How are you guys doing? Um... I just watched the Spongebob movie, A Sponge Out of Water, last night for the first time. It, it was horrible, actually. It was not a good movie. It was really corny, and I did not like it. Um, so, yeah, I want to go see How to Be Single with my friends soon. Besides, I haven't really seen any good movies, new movies lately. Um, I did see The Boy and dirty grandpa two weeks ago but i may have said that before oh and here's yoshi's taunt i haven't gotten any new amiibos yet i keep seeing new amiibos and i want new ones so badly i have um 16 right now technically 18 because i pre-ordered um wolf link and midna already and i'm just gonna use this on myself to get an extra five coins because i'm stupid um so yeah, I'm just gonna, um, I technically have 18, because I already pre-ordered Mega Man Legacy Collection with the gold Mega Man amiibo, and Zelda Twilight Princess HD with the, um, uh, Wolf Link and Midna amiibo. Um, I'm so mad, because I'm getting a new 3DS for my birthday. I was gonna get the Pokemon Red and Blue Edition with, uh, uh, Charizard and Blastoise, uh, stickers, and they're, like, they're um, sold out everywhere because people love Pokemon Red and Blue so much, which personally I think is a horrible game. It's like the only Pokemon game I can't play. But like everyone's like obsessed with it, so it's like sold out already, and that sucks, you know? So I'll probably just get the Fire Emblem one, even though I'm not really a Fire Emblem fan yet. I'm gonna try and get into Fire Emblem. We, oh, we get this special event. So, like, this is, like, so retarded. So, occasionally when you step on a Bowser space, DK will come and save you. But it's so dumb. You just, it's like, 
you just lose 10 coins. Like, instead, how about you could have gotten a mini game and won, and then lost nothing. Like, it's just so dumb. Like, thanks, DK. You're such a... Ugh. I really do not like DK, if, I, if that's not obvious enough already. Okay, so it looks like we're getting a 1 versus 3. Math leaves, math leaves, math leaves. I love that minigame. Yes! This minigame is so luck based, but I love it. Uh, form a mathematical equation by hitting three dice box. The equation sets the number of coins for each player or team. The middle dice box sets the math sign and can alter the outcome drastically. Yeah, so basically, if you get um, a subtraction symbol, you're stuck. What you really want to get. The most you can possibly get is 6 times 6, which is 36, and you'll get, um, like, he could have just gotten 18 coins, but he got 3. It's all about the symbol, really. Oh, nice! 12! That's pretty good, actually. If that would have been 6 times 6, we would have gotten 36 coins to max. Because the blocks only go to 6, not 10. Because then you could get, what, 100 if they went to 10. Dang it, Waluigi's in the lead for the mini imps are end coins already. Gotta get ahead of him. Oh my god, Pirate Dream was ridiculous how much I dominated. That was a really boring board, I have to admit. Just because, like, no one got even remotely close to beating me. That was kind of sad, honestly. Oh, so, um, something else that's kind of cool, um, I found my Super Smash Brothers Melee disc, because I lost my Luigi's Mansion and Super Smash Brothers Melee disc, and I was really mad about it. I'm like, oh, I gotta replace both of them, but I found my Super Smash Brothers Melee disc. Um, I did test it, 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 the disc isn't reading, so I'm probably just gonna take it to play and trade to get it clean, but I still have to get a new Luigi's Mansion, which sucks, because I have no clue where that is, but... I'm really glad I found my uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. I'm not gonna lie, in my younger years, I did not take good care of my video games at all. Like, I wouldn't put them in the case, sometimes they'd just be all over the place. Like, if I had taken as good care of my video games back then as I do now, like, my collection would probably be a lot bigger. Which sucks, because, like, I really wish I did take better care of my video games back then. And I didn't have them, like, all neatly organized on shelves, like, they were just, like, all over the place, like, in different rooms from one another, some games. Not work, like, like now I always have them organized by system. Uh, cool for Speed, I think we played this already. Yeah. Alright, let's do this, guys. Stop. All right, good. We're off to a good start. Thanks, Mario. You screwed up there. Oh, that was perfect. Wow, we literally we like did that f almost flawlessly. That was amazing. Usually, the team of three doesn't win that in the end. So that was pretty cool that we won that. Anyway, I don't really have- Oh my god, Waluigi keeps sharing the victory. I cannot get ahead of him. I can already tell he's going to be my biggest competition on this board. Um, also, I finished Mario & Luigi Paper Jam. I have to be completely honest, I wasn't a big fan of the game. It was just kind of- it got really boring after a while. Like, the game was very repetitive. Like, the story was pretty boring and cliche. Like... It was definitely the weakest entry in the whole Mario and Luigi franchise, like, um, just, like, a lot of the parts of the game were boring, and, like, rescuing the paper toads got, got old, like, there was no, like, extra, like, stuff you could get, like, there was, like, this boss battle ring you could do, which was, which is extremely hard, I didn't even bother doing it, and you don't get anything for beating it, like, the only thing you can do with those expert challenges is just buy, like, extra, like, special gear. It's really not a fun game. I, I thought it was going to be a lot better. The paper craft battles are way too easy and boring. You know what was way, really creative? The giant battles in uh, Dream Team. Dream Team is, such, in my opinion, is such a better game than Paper Jam. Like, 
mixing Paper Mario and Mario and Luigi just it wasn't a great idea. Like I really didn't think it was a fun game. Like having Paper Mario like battle with Mario and Luigi isn't more fun. Like point like the whole time I'm not if I'm being completely honest, like the whole time I was playing Paper Jam, ha ha well, Luigi's not gonna get the star now because the cake is gonna move him to another part of the board. Yeah, so if I'm being completely honest the whole time I was playing Paper Jam, I was just thinking, the whole time I was playing Paper Jam, I was just thinking I wish I was playing Dream Team right now. Alright, finally, this is my chance to get ahead of Waluigi. What are we getting? Squared Away, new minigame! That's only one of those three we haven't played yet. Nice. Alright, Squared Away, three players each climb into a giant cube and try to squish the fourth player who's trying to escape in a smaller cube. The player in the smaller cube... Oh, excuse me. Should make tight turns to escape the giant boxes. The three players in the giant cube should cooperate and try to corner the fourth player. Alright, so this minigame is definitely a little bit more difficult for the person by themselves. Oh, and something I finally decided I'm going to do very soon. Um, maybe for my birthday, because there's actually a lot of stuff I want for my birthday, so I kind of have to decide what I want more, because I really want an SNES and a new 3DS, so I don't know if I'm going to get this, but it would definitely improve my voice um, audio. I was going to, I'm planning on getting a Blue Snowball uh, microphone. I'm going to go to Best Buy very soon, um, because I know it would just like improve my voice. Oh my god, I lost it three seconds off. Damn it, I got cornered. That was ridiculous. Waluigi has won every minigame so far. So anyway, um, I was gonna uh, get a blue snowball microphone, so I'm gonna do that very soon and improve my voice audio. It's not that my voice audio is bad in my videos or anything, it's just if I had a, a blue snowball microphone, it would make my, um, well, I, any microphone really, it's just that's the brand I've had my eye on. Uh, any, if I, if I had a blue snowball microphone, it will improve my, uh, voice audio instead of if I was just using the, uh, built-in microphone on my MacBook computer. Alright, so we gotta go this way. Dang it, I'm gonna end up going the wrong way unless someone passes me, if Mario does. Please roll a big number, Mario. Damn it, I hate you. All he needed was a six, too. Uh, Waluigi's in the lead for the minigame star and the coin star big time. I need to get ahead of him. Alright, what are we playing? Not a battle minigame. We've gotten a lot of those so far. Leaf Leap we haven't played. Maze and Leaf Leap is the only one of those we haven't played. We Maze and Confused, I remember, was like one of the first minigames we got. I think I do remember playing it on the first board and Peach beat me on the last, like at the last second. I love this mini game so much. Damn it! I'll try to remember that. Come on, open. Yes! I kicked butt that time, that wasn't even close. I don't know why I'm in the mood to play some Mortal Kombat X. I might play some Mortal Kombat online after this. I don't know why I'm just randomly in the mood to play Mortal Kombat. I haven't played in a while, actually. Like, I remember I played um last week when my friend Twinka came over. We were playing a little bit of Mortal Kombat, but like besides that, I haven't really like played like played played since like. I don't know, probably like in December. I only got the game on Christmas, so I haven't had it for like even two months yet. Damn it, I'm going up. No, not a red taste. I need to get ahead of Waluigi and coins. An eight. Ugh, Mario's probably gonna get that star. Oh, if, he, if only he would have landed on that happy case. Ooh, Tweezer, maybe he'll get a one. That would be so funny if he screwed himself over like that. Alright, we are in turn six. Alright, what are we gonna play? Another one versus three. Stop putting me with Waluigi, that's so annoying. We haven't played Revolving Fire yet. I don't think we've played any of these. 
Fight cards. This one is completely luck based. Attack your opponents by showing various attack signs. If the same signs are raised, the sole player wins. Um, try to predict which sign the other players will raise. Also, you'll raise the sign of the very last button you press. Alright, so... Basically, if they pick the same... This is very similar to um, Move to the Me... Or, uh, no, not Move to the Me... This is very similar to Look Away from Mario Party 2. But, um, this one is a little bit easier. Alright, good, we're both safe there. So this is basically like an easier version of Look Away. It's if you choose the same thing as them, you're automatically out. Oh my god, he, we could have lost there. Oh my god, it's up to me. Uh, I don't know. Whew, we won, yes! That minigame is completely luck based. We just got lucky right there. I have to admit, the team of one usually wins that one, but I feel like at least, but look away, the team of uh, three usually wins, because it's so hard to look in the same direction as them. Alright, what are you going to do, Koopa Kid? Oh, he's going to throw his coin block. I thought he was going to use it on himself. <laughs> Seven. Not very interesting. Now that I think I, I tried to say seven in an exciting voice, but it didn't make it any better. This is a really good happening space. Please get a one. Please get a one. Please get a one. Please get a one. Damn it! Why do I keep getting three? And the capsules are gonna be switched, which is good because I'm actually not happy with my current capsule. All right, gotta get a yellow one. Nice, my favorite color. All right, so it looks like Mario is gonna get that star unless he gets a one. <laughs> I love that—the Asian cursed mushroom. Sometimes, they, in some games, they call it the poisonous mushroom. Like I remember, they called it the poisonous mushroom in Mario Party Three, but they call it cursed in this game. So sometimes it's uh, poisonous, sometimes it's cursed. <laughs> Alright, so Mario gets the first star of the game. I really don't think he'll be that much of a threat. It's, I still think Waluigi is worse right now. Because he's just, um... Like, he has the minigame star, he has the coin star, and he's really getting on my nerves. I'm really not a big fan of Waluigi, honestly, but I do like him more than Wario. Like, I like Waluigi in Mario Party 3. I don't know, I like... I feel the same way about Daisy. I'm not a big fan of Waluigi or Daisy. But I really like both of them in uh, Mario Party 3. I don't know why, I just like their designs better. Imagine if we got Mathlates again. We haven't played Beam Team, actually. Alright, Mario Mex again. Alright, let's do this. Let's shoot some Koopa Kid. Koopa Kid, literally one of the most hated Mario characters. Koopa Kid only- the funny thing about Koopa Kid is he only appears in the Mario Party series. Oh god, I was gonna try my shoot- hide and shoot strategy again, but it did not work at all this time. So yeah, Koopa Kid only appears in the Mario Party series, like one of the most unloved Mario characters there is. Bowser Jr. is way more popular. Let's because he was in a uh, sunshine. Huh, <laughs> well, at least Waluigi doesn't win another minigame. That makes me happy. I personally think that Waluigi should get his own video game. I think that would be really cool. Like Waluigi World or something. That sounds good because it's like alliteration right there. Um, because I'm, like, I don't like Wario as a character, but I'm actually a really big fan of the Wario games. Um, so, like, I think that, like, they should make, like, Waluigi games. That would be pretty cool. Like, uh, what Wario games have I done? Um, I own Wario Land. My friend actually just gave me Wario Land Shake It recently. Uh, I kind of mentioned, I think I mentioned that. Wario games I own, I have, um, 
Wario and Shake It, Wario World, and Wario Land Super Mario Land 3. I'm gonna be doing Wario Land 2, 3, and 4. For uh, Wario Land 2 and 3 are for uh, Game Boy. Wait, no, Wario Land 2 is for Game Boy. Wario Land 3 is for Game Boy Color, and Wario Land 4 is for GBA. So I'm gonna do all three of those games. And I also wanna eventually do Wario Master of Disguise. And um, I feel like there's one more Wario game. I kind of want to try, but Wario World, which I let's played um, last school year when I was in ninth grade. Um, I freaking love that game. That is one of my favorite video games ever. I'll never forget when I first got it at the very beginning of eighth grade. I got it on Amazon in like September 2014. Oh, I know September 2000. Uh, 13 actually, I got the game, and I, I was just so happy. It's like one of my favorite video games ever. Yeah. Anyway, oh, are you kidding me? Why does he. He just keeps getting more money. I literally want to kill you, Waluigi. Everyone has a good amount of money, I have to admit. Well, actually, Mario is kind of broke. But he is a star. Um, come on, let's get Leaf Leaf. Damn it. Coin Kosh is fun. I do not... I, I'm not exactly sure how you say that word if I'm being completely honest. Is it Cash or Kosh? I'm not sure, honestly, if I'm being honest. Alright, let's do this. I always, Something I always try to do when I was little in this minigame is make it to the top. What you want to do is you want to find the blocks with multiple coins. That's how you're going to get a lot of coins in this game. Ooh, I'm already at 12. Nice. Alright, so it looks like all the bottom ones have been hit. I'm going to fall. Crap, where am I? Oh, I hate when I won't stop moving. Finish! 19! Holy crap! Me and- I did really good. That was like one of my best. Waluigi did okay, but Mario and Koopa Kid sucked. Oh my god, we have so much money, me and Waluigi. I can't believe he has 99 coins. Alright, what turn are we on? 9! We're almost there. Ooh, bob -omb capsule. We didn't get- to, I know that's been used, but we haven't gotten to see that take effect. There are a lot of capsules, like, I hope we can see more of them be used. I am praying we get- uh, I didn't even realize that was there. I am praying that, um, we don't get the triple coin spaces again happening at the final five turns, because that is, like, the most boring thing that can happen. Like, I really hope we get something new. I love how I have 88 coins and I'm in last place. That's just sad. I'm kinda getting bad luck on this Fortnite. Oh! Waluigi lost 10 coins somehow, and I was not paying attention. So he's only one coin ahead of me. Alright, we are like fighting for the coin star, the two of us. Alright, so I'm kinda already on my way to that star. Of course it's going the wrong way. Damn it! Why? Please get a 10, Mario. Oh. Oh, okay. He's still not gonna make it, though, but that was close. He was so close. He only he needed an 11. That's so not fair. I'm getting so screwed on this board. Okay. Oh, why did I think he was gonna get a hidden block for some reason? I didn't even see that there was anything on that space. Damn it! That means Mario's still on it, gonna be on his way to the starter. 
But at least Waluigi doesn't have a chance of getting it either, because he'll have to go up too. Alright, what are we playing? Flower Shower. Oh, this is a new one actually, we haven't played this. 